Now I am going to show you how to do the georeferencing of topo sheet using SuperGIS. Now let me open the software. Now I need to open the file. Now on the right layer, just right click, select add layer. Now go to desktop, go to desktop, I can see the file which is 57f2.tif which is in tip format. Now click select the file and click on the open. Now it is asking you to select the S button to build the pyramid layers. So this is required for quick zoom in, zoom in and zoom out. This is only one time need to be required. Now click on the S to generate the pyramid layers. Now it is generated and the image got displayed. Now you need to take georeferencing tool that is available. Just right click on the menu bar and select the function georeferencing. Now this is georeferencing toolbar. Now in the drop down you need to select the file. Now in the georeferencing option you need to select the checkbox auto adjust now this is the button the tool for adding the control points or placing the control points now i'm going to take four corner as my control points now i need to start with first control points Now the values are written in geographic light long, so you need to convert degree decimal to convert it to degree decimal. Now click on the add control points. Now place the first control points exactly intersection of two lines. my first point is placed now you can see the control points which is highlighted in the red color so that is my first control point now now you have to give the values click on the control point list now x source y source which is the file coordinates of the map and you can see the x map and y map that is going to be longitude and latitude information now x is longitude i need to provide the values seventy seven point zero and my y map that is that is latitude fourteen point seven five after converting 14 degree 45 minutes my first point is point is war now I need to collect all the four points you can see now all the four control points are digitized so this is first one second one third one and fourth one now you can see the corresponding lat long information which is available on the control points list so once this is done, now you click on the georeferencing and go to transformation that is need to be first order, then you click on rectify. Now this is the default cell size which is in degree decimal. So if you want to change, you can change. So better to take default one. Now the output file is going to be at this path. Now I need to put on some different location. 
and name this the rectified underscore 57 f2 so this is my file name now i click on ok so now the process is going on it take few minutes and you get the result i can see the process this progress progress bar you can see the 68 28 now now this is done now it is asking you to generate the pyramid layers for the new layer which we have generated just now so you click on s now it is generated now close this control point list now i don't i i want to remove this the raw data and i want to keep the rectified one now click on the fit view now this is georeferenced you can just cross check with your values now place the cursor exactly intersection of two lines and you can see the 77 and 14.75 now you can see the units which is showing unknown that means that the projection system is not defined now i'm going to define the projection system now click on the layers now go to code your system now click on the select drop down the geographic coordinate system world ws84 ok then say apply and click on this ok now you can see it has taken the projection system now again double click on the layers now click on the general tab display units you can change this to degree minutes and second now i can see it is showing in the degree minutes and second so this is about the georeferencing